Hello and welcome to a new player review. So today we're going to have uh, a review on the last of the first three players that we got for our first birthday uh, through Objectives, um, which was two, um, Paqueta, which was done through Squad Battles, quite easy to get, uh, a nice card. And then this guy, which is uh, Bellarabi, um, which you get through Division Rivals, and it's kind of a sweaty card to get. Uh, to obtain anyways uh, because of the objectives uh, especially that uh, crossing I believe is gonna be the maybe the toughest one um, to get uh, to score in five games with a cross using a, a Bundesliga player leap but uh, it looks to be a card worthwhile grinding this uh, Karim Belarabi um, four star with a three star weak foot upgraded to a five star now with his foot birthday um, with some very, very nice stats. Um, on a first glance, it looks to be the best um, right wing, uh, right mid in the Bundesliga available. Um, the best, uh, the other two best is gonna be Sancho and um, Gnabry. So um, with that in mind, if you run a Bundesliga team um, or you need that right wing uh, card, uh, it's probably um, a card worthwhile getting. Um, now we have to see how this uh, how the this card translates into the game and if this card actually plays well. So let's have a look. Uh, like I said, Karim Belarabi from Bayer Leverkusen. Um, he's an upgrade from his 82 base. He has an 80, informed to an 84. Um, so from his base, we get about 40 uh, total stats uh, and uh, about 200 in-game stats. So it's quite a nice upgrade. Um, 184, so he's about six feet with high medium work rates, which is great. Uh, four star skills and an upgraded five star weak foot. He's also going to be the only five star weak foot on the right wing. I believe there's only uh, another five star weak foot on the left wing, which is going to be um, actually have him in the team, which is going to be Parasites. And actually, that newly upgraded um, uh, what is it? Uh, there's another foot birthday card from the Bundesliga that has a five star weak foot. I believe it's the left wing. Anyway, so. Uh, let's have a look at his stats. Um, overall pace 94. This card was already fast anyways on his base card. I believe it's something like a 92 or something, but it goes for 94. 94, 94, which is great pace. Uh, overall shooting 84 with attack positioning 85. Uh, we already applied the sniper to go to, uh, what is it, 90 with finishing, which is the lowest stat, which is really low. I mean, it's really poor there. So we need the maximum uh, upgrade and that finishing, which is going to be a sniper or the dead eye with plus 15. So we go to 95. We go at uh, good shot power 93 and good long shots at 85. Um, now passing over 85, we have good passing with uh, vision, short pass, and curve uh, being good. They're not that great. Short pass and vision is good. Curve is a bit low. Uh, long pass is low. So um, it's going to be between the sniper and the dead eye. Um, I'm gonna do the sniper here and maybe I will change the chem style for another game and see if we see any difference there The good thing about it if you change the data you still get that plus 15 in finishing uh, The difference is gonna be I believe in attack positioning as well You get a bit more with that eye and the rest of the sets will go into passing instead of dribbling uh, So in dribbling we have overall 90 uh, with uh, 92 to 99 agility, which is fantastic uh, good balance we up to 88 uh, good reactions, great ball control to 95, dribbling to 99, and composure to 88. So this uh, sniper camp style already boosts a, a couple of uh, the stats there that are a bit low. Uh, nothing too worrisome though, you can still uh, play this card without the upgrades on the um, uh, on the sniper camp style, I believe. Uh, no defending, and good physical at overall 80 with good jumping, good stamina at 82 should be enough for a winger, uh, strength 78 and aggression 81. So like I said, it looks a really nice card with a couple of um, uh, faults there, especially that finishing. But hopefully with the chem style, uh, it's going to be all right. Um, like I said, I was debating between the sniper and the Deadeye. So we're going to go with a sniper uh, and see if we find any faults in the passing. Maybe we'll change it to the Deadeye and see how that uh, if that improves the card in any ways. So with that in mind, let's go into a couple of games and test this card out. So here we go with our first opponent. This is going to be a La Liga objective team, something like that. Um, maybe for icon swaps, I believe. 
Anyways, uh, we are gonna go in the 4-2-3-1 formation and we're gonna try Kareem Bellarabi for the birthday in the right right cam as a right winger uh, with uh, stay forward instructions. There he is. There was he so much. Anyways, it was really good back. Nice pass there. There he is. Check out his pace. Ah, that was terrible. There it is. Good turn. Let's see his speed now. Good control. Good composure. Nice dribble there. Another one. Again, he holds the ball. Nice. Good dribble. Shoot. Oh, wow. He's so nice to turn. 1 0. There he is again. Good pass. Get him. Ah. Get it. Go on, Robbie. Go, go, go. Nice. There it is. Give me the speed. No. Go. Oh, nice. Get it. There it is. There it is. Go Zil. That was a good goal. No. Go. Oh. Nice. Uh, Eight point seven by Bellarabi has one goal and one assist. Um, one on one shots, five to six passes, six on 14 dribbles, um, one on two crosses, and no tackles. His fitness, I don't know why he burned so much fitness um, as opposed to the other players. Uh, I didn't overuse him, I want to say, in this game, but uh, I don't know. I can't judge it really from the first game, but he was kind of burned towards the end. So that was a good first game for him. Let's go into another game. Okay, so this is going to be our next opponent. A nice uh, wants to watch team. Um, so we're gonna go again on the same formation, uh, four two three one. Uh, I'm gonna try for birthday uh, Bellarabi in the right cam, uh, right as a right winger with stay forward instructions. Go there it is. What a ball! Good <laughs> stop. Wow, he's really fast on the dribble. All right, so it's halftime and we're going to swap the formation to the 4-1-2-1-2 narrow. As you can see, we're going to play Belrabi as a right striker uh, because my opponent is playing a formation that is not suitable for the 4-2-3-1. So we'll swap to this one, a more narrow formation, see if we can produce more chances. Nice, nice Belrabi, good steal. I don't know, he's making a good pass though. There. Oof. Let's have a look at this. Nice pass. Oh, good pass. There it is. Good. Nice. Nice by Ozil. 2 0. That's game. Uh, another good performance. We swapped the, we switched the uh, formation and managed to get the win. Played better in the second half because we wasn't producing any chances in the first half. Uh, another good performance by Bellarabi. 8.1. It's going to be, well, it's up there. It's not the best performance. Uh, no goals, but one assist. It was an excellent pass to score that first goal, if I'm not mistaken. We didn't take any shots. Uh, seven on eight passes, seven on nine dribbles, good crossing, good tackling, uh, as in none. <laughs> and uh, his fitness is a lot better now, as you can see, minus four. So maybe in the first game, I was kind of overusing him a bit. That's why he got uh, drained out in stamina. So this time, uh, I'm going to go and change the camp style to a Deadeye and try him again. Okay, so here's our next opponent. Very nice uh, flashback team. Um, good players in there, meta players. So we're gonna go again in the 4 2 3 one formation. We're gonna test out Foot Birthday Bellarabi in the right wing um, as a right cam. Uh, but this time we're gonna have a dead eye cam style instead of a sniper. There we go. 1 0 with Ozo. Good pass. Let's go, Bellarabi. Oh, nice. Shoot. Great finish. Great run. Nice assist by Lionair as well. One, two. There it is. Robbie. Good control. Shoot. 
Oh no! Oh my god, what's, what the hell kind of save was that? Good pass. There it is. Excellent pass. Pass. Nice, Ozil. Excellent pass by Bill Robbie. They make it 3 1. And he's gone. So, uh, 9.0 by Bill Robbie. An excellent performance in this game. One goal and one assist. Um, very, very nice. Uh, one on one shots. One on one passes. <laughs> so he had one shot, he scored one goal, he had one pass, and he gave an assist. So, 100%. Uh, one on three dribbles, uh, no crosses, one failed tackle, no fitness, nothing really. There, uh, a good performance by Bellarabi. Um, it was was a quick game. Um, I didn't notice too many differences there with the uh, dead eye. So let's go back and have a look at this card. So we have uh, foot birthday Karim Bellarabi from Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, 88 abstained through objectives, um, division rivals, and uh, judging by the rivals that I played. Um, it, the, these rivals are now very very sweaty because you have the icon swaps you have these objectives as well so uh, uh, it's kind of hard to grind uh, because it's frustrating the games that you're gonna play so is he worth uh, the grind um, well you get a free 88 card a four star five star a German from the Bundesliga as a right wing compared to the other right wings you can get in the Bundesliga like I said uh, it was going to be Jaden Sancho or um, Nabri, and I believe this car is um, a bit ahead on those two. I think this is the best car that you can get as a right wing in the Bundesliga. So obviously, if you're running a Bundesliga team um, or you need that link uh, on the right from a Bundesliga card, you definitely need to grind this card. Uh, now for the rest, um, if you're looking for a solution in the right wing and you don't have any good players, uh, and somehow you can fit him in. Uh, yeah, I believe this is a good right wing card that is worth the grind. Uh, it got frustrating for me as well when I was grinding him, especially those crosses, but um, I am happy I got this card. Uh, I can do some uh, good uh, hybrids uh, with a right wing that I was missing from the Bundesliga. I tried Nabri before. He was okay, nothing too great for me. Um, I didn't think it was a fantastic card. It was a good right wing card. But I think this card is a very, very good card um, as a right wing. Between the two camp styles that we tried, I didn't notice too much of a difference. But if I was to pick, I would probably pick this dead eye. As you can see, we get uh, the plus 14 in attack position to 99. The finishing stays the same. We go 99 on shot power and get uh, plus 5 in the long shots. So it's shooting. You get uh, the points distributed in the first four uh, stats, which are the most important. And um, for me, especially maxing out that attack positioning means he's going to get into great positions to score. Um, his passing gets the plus 10 in vision, which is very important. He gets plus 9 in short pass. It goes to 99 and he gets plus 5 in curve. Uh, it goes to 85. So for me always, especially for my winger, um, I usually do short passing. So 90% of the passes are going to be short passes. So I need the short pass, the vision and the curve to be above 85 at least at this stage in the game and this guy has it with the dead eye uh, so his dribbling doesn't need any improvement from what i found the balance is great the composure is great the rest of them don't need any improvement agility ball control there are nice stats there so i would rather have a dead eye on him and have better passing stats uh, and also the better um, points and attack positioning um, so he's worth the grind he's a great card and i will definitely put him in my bundesliga team so this is going to be it for this review Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.